Yeah, good morning. It's uh, Tuesday the 25th of June. Uh, we've been up here for four days now, but we had a rest day yesterday. So today we're back to the hiking and we're back down in Glen Affric. We're going to do the two from the Chisholm Bridge car park, Tom O'Connick and the other one. Well, it's pretty good at the moment, better than expected. Uh, kind of some blue sky, most of the tops are clear. And again, there's a wee bit of breeze, which is good. So it's about 10 o'clock just now. I reckon maybe about seven, eight hours for this walk. Just take it nice and steady again. And uh, we'll see how this one goes. So catch you further along the trail. Yeah, so here we come up to the wee junction. We are taking our right. Yep. And that's our first one up there. And the clag a wee bit. That's our first one, yeah. So it's a pretty straightforward Land Rover track up here for a bit. To get to that wee kind of dam thing. And then it becomes a bit Squishy squashy gonna cross. The bangers were here. Man the bangers. Man the bangers. Yes, that's our first one directly ahead at 12 o'clock. We just got that ridge right at the top and along just where it's a wee bit clag covered is the summit and then we drop down and the second one's up behind there somewhere lovely wee waterfalls over there Might have a look at them the way back we'll see great path coming up here at the moment we were just saying we could have maybe brought our bikes up here and just left them at a junction where you come back down off a second. Yeah, so we're now onto this wee narrower path. As I say, if I remember correctly, it gets a wee bit squeegee further on. So we're uh, shortly going to be at the point where we start heading uphill and go away for this boggy shit. Very squishy. Yeah, so this is a reaching the wee care marker, just here, where we cut off to head up to the ridge for our first one. And uh, I think that's the last of that squelchy nonsense. Don't like that stuff at all. Yeah, that's us up at uh, 685 metres. And that's the clag cut up with us. <clears throat> it was just coming in slow but sure up the valley. So we could be in it for the rest of the day now. We'll see. Yeah, it's like an arena on proper now, so just gonna fill waterproofs on now. 
Yep. <laughs> and we shall continue heading up. Right. Let's go, Brian. <laughs> First one up today. Yeah, it was three and a half hours to get to this one. And it's, it's, it was a sit up round again. 1,112. Aye, 11, 12 metres. So this is the highest of the two, yeah. So it's just bucketing down the uh, no point in hanging about here, it's just a uh, clag city. A good old Scottish word for this, derich. Yeah, so uh, we're just going to push on to the second one now, so I'll catch you further along the trail. So this is us just stopping for a wee pit stop. <coughs> but the quickest one in history. Still bucketing done. Uh, just for a wee drink and some tea. It's got a wee kind of sausage roll. Obviously cold, but we'll just tonight eat them on the way. We're not hanging about. So I'll catch you further along the trail again. This is at the summit, the second there. Uh, just over an hour between the two. Absolutely miserable. So, uh, it was just doom and gloom all the way along. That's why I didn't fall much. Uh, don't, I can't remember what's the highest, this care marker. Or a trick point over there. So, I'll go over and touch that as well uh, before we head done. But, uh, like I said, this is, uh, I'll put the height and the name up of this one. So that's us back at this uh, wee dam now, on a decent path. I was building hellish coming down there. Never videoed anything because it was just, uh, just doom and gloom coming down, you know. I remember that coming down for the last time with Paul. And uh, I found it was bloody worse this time. Sodden. But we're here now anyway, so we're just going to have five, ten minutes uh, just chilling and having a bite eating. The old Red Bull. <clears throat> Ah, uh, we'll maybe fly the drones here, it's, uh, the rain's off at least and the wind's died down a bit. But that's why we went up this morning, that one behind me. That was the first one right up that ridge. I like that, once you got into the clag, that was it until we basically get down to about 100 metres or so for their site. So, I shall catch you further on down the road. I could dying to get his boots off, but... Feet are, sod feet are sodden. It's good you know they can add dampy gear but into it. Yeah, so that's us uh, had a nice wee break up at the dam there. And uh, not following much coming back down now, it's just not the same, but we're just following this uh, lovely wee river down again. It's beautiful. 
wee, nice wee waterfall with the water gushing through it back at that bit as well. Yeah, it was lovely. But what I'll do then is I'll just catch you back at the car. Uh, as I say, there's not much else to video here. So I'll get you back at the car. Aye. Yeah, they, they can't even open the gate. <laughs> <laughs> That was about five minutes trying to Aye, I know, there. I know. Hour, so. I didn't want to phone you for the start, I'm low on battery. Good old fashioned plane. Yeah. You want me to get it for that side? I get it, get it for that side, Brian. Eh? I'm a good oh, bit on you. You can climb? I'm a good bit on you, I get it open. I'm a good bit on you. Aye, there we go, eh? Cooking me gas. Yeah, how's that for service? Cooking me gas, aye, aye. I'll get the first round tonight for that. That's us back at the car now. That was uh, 7 hours 20 minutes and just nearly 20k. So a good day in the sense uh, we got them done. Uh, obviously there are new ones for Brian, I've done them before but still good to go out and do them again. As you saw the Visibility up at the summits was rotten, no views at all, which is doom and gloom. Uh, the walk up to we started going up the ridge was good, and when we get back down to the wee dam, that was nice as well. And as I say, following up wee Riverdon, that was on ice as well. Uh, so we're just going to head back up to the campsite, get things organised, go out for a meal, a few pints, and then hopefully we're going to be doing the Malardock for tomorrow. So uh, if you've watched this far, thanks very much. And uh, I shall see you in the next adventure. Adios.